Hi, welcome to another PhotoLink video. Uh, this video is going to be on the operation of um, Combined ZP, which basically um, combines uh, several uh, images uh, in various degrees of focus uh, to produce one where everything's in focus. Uh, maybe that'll make more sense in a minute. Um, basically, I've taken uh, three pictures. The first picture, um, if you'll notice, has the flowers here, uh, the near flowers in focus. The next picture has the uh, flowers in the middle uh, in focus. And the uh, next picture um, has the flowers in, in the distant background in focus. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do here, so let me get rid of these images, is I'm going to open the Combine ZP uh, dialog or the program. And here it is. This is a continuation of the last video. Uh, you're presented with a help system here, which is excellent. I certainly suggest you read it. But we can close that for the moment. We can dismiss it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to say new. Um, if I can for a moment here. Uh, this is the shortcut dialog. If I go here, you can go into all the functions in the program. Or what I can do is I can go into that shortcut method or the simple mode, <coughs> which we'll deal with at the moment. So now I'm going to click on the new icon to create a new stack, a new stack of frames of images. And here I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the first five, which are the images that I displayed you. Actually, I displayed you three of the first five. And it loads those into the program. That was by striking new. Now I'm going to come over here to my function list. And I'm going to say align and balance these frames. And I'm going to say go. Now what we do is we get a dialog box here that uh, shows us the progress of what's basically happening. And what it's doing is it's aligning our images. Now the next step that I'm going to take. Now if I do all methods, um, it will present me with every one of the uh, different ways that this image, that these images can be stacked. But uh, for right now, we're just going to do one because it does take quite a bit of time. I'm going to come up and do the Pyramid Do Stack. So when I click on that, I've selected it here. And I'm going to say Go. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through and it's going to uh, do everything that is required uh, to process that image. Processes those images into a single focus. Single focused image. Now we're coming here. And there it is. Now characteristic to this program it always has trouble with the edges. You can read more about that in the uh, help file, but the uh, de developer has commented on that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select a frame just by holding the mouse key down and to eliminate those aired areas. Now I can come up here and I can say save, which saves the framed area. And we'll call it test. And we'll save it at a quality of 100. Now basically what we have done, and we can go back to our um, subdirectory here, is we've taken these images, which were in degrees of being out of focus, various parts of it, and in focus. And we've created this image. Uh, let me shrink it down here a little bit. Which is totally in focus. 
Now, uh, one thing that we have to keep in mind here is when we go into this program, there are several different types of ways that we can deal with this image. Uh, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, and here is one. Or you can execute all methods and it will uh, combine the image in all methods possible. Um, also, you can go into the, um, the actual full-fledged dialog. And what you can do is if you go into macros, you can uh, actually build your own macro, edit it, and vary the functionality of the program. So it will require some study on your part. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, please try this combined Z or uh, uh, ZP program out. Uh, in the first video, um, it showed you the URL where you could get it. And thank you very much for watching.